Hi friends, thanks for joining me. It's Morag here with another layout for you using the December kits and they are absolutely stunning. And I'm so pleased to be working with the Killer Kit this month and these stunning dies that you'll find in the shop. And I'm creating a layout for the mood board challenge, um, for which is actually the January challenge. So we're just almost at the end of December. And my original plan is to have those snowflakes all around the edge of my paper. And I've cut out lots of them using um, several of the snowflake dies. And then I thought the beautiful um, stencil in the colour kit this month um, would be perfect to lay some colour around the edge of my paper. So I'm going to use a ink pad that we got earlier this year in the colour kit um, and I'm just testing out a couple of them and decide that hot tub is um, a nice bluey colour and will be perfect for snowflakes and just to add a bit of depth um, around the edge of my page. Um, the pattern paper is really pretty, it's like a little pink forest um, with trees going off into the distance. It's you know just so pretty and so easy to use. So I'm using a blending brush and just turning the stencil around as I go. Uh, and I'm just going to do the edges of the paper, as you can see here. So um, on that stencil, um, there are loads of different um, pretty snowflake shapes. So you can pick out the ones that you like. And what I really like about the stencil is there are smaller ones and larger ones. Um, some intricate ones and some more simple. So you can really um, use this stencil in lots of ways um, and I think it's going to be really versatile for your winter pages. I'm a sucker for a stencil, I love stencils. So I'm going around the edge as you can see and maybe some of them are darker than others with a bit more pressure and then some will be lighter. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm going to use the stencil um, with some glacier paste. Now we got this last month in the November colour kit and it kind of looks white when you put it on. It's like a really soft um, mousse I would say almost. It's very very soft and you just apply it with a palette knife as you can see here. Now when I was doing this I had fully intended to go back with the snowflakes um, once this is all dried, as I had them around the edge. Um, but it turned out so pretty, I didn't want to cover it up. Um, thankfully, uh, from your point of view, um, I'd videoed my attempts to cover it all up and see how I liked it. And for some reason, it didn't record. So I started again. And this is my third attempt at recording. Um, but I decided actually it is just too nice to cover up with more snowflakes. So I'm going to leave that as it is and I shall use all those snowflakes I've cut out for another project and maybe do my original idea um, but with less mixed media underneath. And look how pretty this has turned out. It is a really pale silver colour. It's really shiny and isn't too thick um, so it's more about the colour it's added an absolute joy when you see it in real life um, and it catches the light so I've got two photos um, from a few years ago and we had a um, we had such a weird winter because I think it snowed three times really heavy snow three times that year for us and we rarely get snow here of that level but uh, I think we had a few years when we it kept happening which was fabulous <laughs> so i'm going to go and layer those snowflakes i've cut out and those dies are gorgeous um, i've used some of the cardstock kit to um, with the dies to cut them out they go through like butter they're really intricate so it's helpful if you've got a pokey tool or um, one of those little brush tools to get out the um, the bits from your dies. Um, I just used it again and again then to cut out lots of them in three colours. 
and I've taken my title from the main kit. So there's a chipboard um, stickers in the main kit. And I'm just going through the die cuts from the main kit. Now, um, I'm always saying how fabulous the um, die cuts and what great value what they are. Um, but I, I never knew how many pieces are in there. So I noticed this month, I don't know if you were listening, Kimberly, um, but I can see that each one now says how many die cuts are in there. So in the main kit, there are 56 elements in that pack, which is huge, isn't it? So and what I like about them um, with the hip kit exclusives is that you get a mixture of things in there. Um, what I'm finding with other manufacturers, you end up having to buy two or three die cut sets because one's got journal cards and tags in and the other one's got the little pretty pieces in. Um, whereas the hip kit one is a true mixture. So inside that main um, kit die cut set are tags, frames, elements, journal. Oh, it's just fabulous. So um, I'm trying to use a bit of everything just so that you can see them. But truthfully, I would have really managed this layout just with the main kit, which I'm sure if you are inspired that you could do the same. So while I was waffling, I've added, um, I think that's a foam sticker, not a foam sticker, a puffy sticker <laughs> from the um, Pocket Live kit, um, some more of the die cuts and chipboards. Well, but, yeah, there's just so much to choose from. So you can really go nuts with the little bits and pieces. And I'm just tucking them along my border. Um, just as you can see there, just tucking them in one um, in front of the other. And also in the embellishment kit this month are these pretty sequins. I do you love a sequin? And they're such delightful colours, pale pinks, silver blue, um, like a pearl white. They really are gorgeous. So I'm just going to put them randomly across my border there. And I did think, well, shall I put them all around the edge? But I just felt like maybe that might get a bit too busy. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I decided against it and saved my sequins for another layout. Uh, incidentally, I've also tucked in some die cuts behind my photos and around at the top there. Um, just to give them a bit more interest, really. It, it turns out pretty simple, really, this layout. <laughs> Um, I just really couldn't decide in the beginning um, what to do about those snowflakes. Um, just It kind of goes off on its own, doesn't it, when you create a layout. It's, uh, it kind of does what it does. So I like having, you know, three words in my title. It makes a bit of a fun change for me. I tend to go with a one-word title. Um, and I think this wraps it up. Um, I did add that little fox and the little die cut there at the bottom um, just because I saw the fox and it was so cute. And I really love those little banners. Very, very cute. Um, and there's some close-ups there of, of the, um, the detail in the middle. I hope I've inspired you to take part in the mood board this month. Um, you can take part and um, for a chance to win $25 to spend in the store. And you've got until the 12th of January. Um, just head over to the Facebook group for all the details. Thanks so much for joining me. See you on the next one. Bye.